okay so let's take a look at okay visualization library that you can use in google collab so first thing we'll create a code block and here we will type in from okay dot plotting import the few items that we need is figure then output underscore file and finally we have to show right so these three things we are importing also in order to output into this particular notebook we are going to import from bokeh.io import output underscore notebook so this line remains constant within all the code that we are going to follow next we are also going to use output underscore sorry output underscore notebook being called here right so now that we have these three fixed lines we are going to create our first graph right so let's start with line graph right so we are going to type in an array right but before that what if we can simply call for figure and give it line graph right so the next thing is we are going to call for x 1 2 3 4 and 5 right uh, so instead of adding all of that within graph we will try to isolate this so y 2 4 6 8 10 right so these x and y coordinates we have got now we will call for graph dot line right so that it should take these x and y and create line graph right then show we have to pass graph right now let's see if there are any errors for our typo here so instead of okay dot io it's brokey dot io so that's the mistake that caused the error so let's run this again okay one more error which is figure text zero argument one is given now the second error is regarding title so we'll have to pass title equals to line graph and now let's run this okay so those two errors taken care of let's hope that it saves and shows us the output now as you can see our line graph is here so you get the idea how to display line graph with okay visualization library now let's take a look at bar graph or bar chart so we'll make few changes right so here instead of line we will try to name this to bar graph let's also change x and y array and give it some different values 3 5 7 9 and 11 and then let's give our y something different as well right so let's see 4 12 16 right and one more value let's see 20 right so basically we have five values right and now that we have x and y values we will try to also add height because our bar graph has height so 0.5 now we will have to also remove graph dot line because this is bar graph so bar graph usually has h bar that we can access through graph dot h bar as you can see our h bar should take x then let's say for right it should take y then it should take height equals to height right so we have our three parameters passed now we have to simply call for show right so if i run this what should happen is it should draw our bar graph right with these set of values right and as you can see 
here you find these editor controls with your book library allows you to save this image as well that you can do so you get the idea how to create bar chart with bokeh visualization library in google Colab. okay now let's take a look at one more plot which is scatter plot for that we have to make few changes now we have to add from bokeh dot palette right import magma right and then also import random these two things we have to do and here we have to type in scatter plot within our craft method where it sorry figure method where it takes title and we change the title right now next thing we have to change few things like x y and graph right so what we have to do for x is let's take x value of then n for n in range right which is going to be 256 right so that should be within range function right and not multiplied right so another thing is we also have to think of random dot random right and we have to add plus one here for n in the range to 56 so pretty random data we have here right so basically sorry it added that ends with square bracket right so hopefully our errors are gone so why is our array that holds random value plus one for n in range of 256 right so we have x and y values already now what we do is graph dot let's say scatter and then pass on x y to that and finally we show graph right so if you run this it should hopefully show us this scattered plot with the values that we passed so you get the idea how to create scatter plot in bokeh data visualization library on google okay now let's take a look at how you can draw area plot or area graph so for that what we'll do is we will add in few arrays so let's say one two three four and five right similarly for y value let's do things like two four six eight and ten right so we have x and y and also let's have y2 as well so for that y2 let's try and add something different with values one two instead of three let's go with directly six right then let's come back to value of four and then eight right so a bit random there so next thing is when we are plotting our area plot so what we'll do is we will call for figure and then within that we pass plot width right which is going to be 300 right then plot underscore height which is going to be 300 right so we have our width and height and next we will do v area equals uh, v area method which takes x equals to x similarly y equals to y and then instead of y2 why not have y1 right okay so y1 goes for so y goes for y and then y1 goes for y1 right now uh, let's have something like let's go for y2 again because i noticed that you have to do y1 y2 so yeah so x equals to x y equals to y1 right or if there isn't a list it go for y to y 
and then y2 y2 and then fill color so for fill color let's go with how about red or let's say green right and then finally we just show our plot right let's run this and find out if there are any errors so p dot v area x x y y y two y two fill underscore color green so y two v area similar attribute r y two or y one so yeah it should be y one right so y one so let's go with that let's go with y one y one y two y two right so let's run this and we have our plot so this is a lot more easier to put instead of y and y2 y1 just go with y1 y2 right so that adding it here and causing it problem won't be an issue right so this is our area plot okay so you can go through the code and try this on your own okay now that we have area plot let's go ahead and try one more different graph let's see triangle graph so we are going to start with triangle graph and to figure we are going to pass the title equals to triangle graph right now what we are going to do is we are going to pass it value of x1 y1 the next thing is graph dot triangle right and then we will pass x then y and then size of that particular triangle let's see 150 200 you go with that right so finally we will try to show graph right so what we have done so far we have passed its parameter one for each x and y and then also added its size and let's run this and here you see triangle graph drawing our respective values so you get the idea how to draw triangle graph in Google Colab with Bokeh Visualization Library. Now that we have seen few other graphs, let's take a look at final plot. So here, what we're going to do is we are going to take a look at patch plot. So for that, we'll import one more thing. So from Bokeh, we are going to call for palettes import and then magma right and here we are going to call for graph and then figure then title we are going to say patch plot right and on next line we are going to go for let's say n for n in range of let's say 256 right and then y array taking random dot random and then plus one in for n in range of 256 right okay so uh, what mistake we have made okay so we have to import random sorry for that and now that we have imported it we'll have to also use graph dot patch so x and y we pa pass to that and then show graph right so let's run this and as you can see you get the patch plot right so you can go through the code and make sure to import magma and random before creating your graph otherwise it will throw an error on random and also on patch right so you get the idea how to create patch plot with bokeh data visualization library uh, there are a few more plots but i think these are good enough to start with bokeh library